There was an emotional moment on Capitol Hill today as congressional Democrats introduced a sweeping new bill aimed at rooting out racial bias in policing. House Majority Whip James Clyburn, the highest ranking African American in Congress, asked that America's history of slavery be considered when writing and discussing the new legislation. Here's CBS's Nancy Cordes. With African kente scarves around their shoulders and millions of new allies at their backs, the Congressional Black Caucus took a knee today and then laid out their bill. We're here because black Americans want to stop being killed. The Justice in Policing Act would make it easier to prosecute officers for brutality, track police misconduct with a new national registry, and set new standards for training and use of force. The chokehold is a procedure that is unnecessary, unacceptable, uncivilized, mm -hmm. unconscionable, mm -hmm. and un-American. This legislation will make it unlawful. Many of the initiatives have been introduced before, after the deaths of Eric Garner, Sandra Bland, and Tamir Rice. Sometimes it takes a long time for things to change. California's Karen Bass chairs the Black Caucus. This bill asks a lot of police departments. Yes. But doesn't give them any new money. It doesn't give them new money, but it repurposes existing money. Reducing legal immunity for police officers won't be easy. The White House called it a non-starter today. Attorney General William Barr explained why on Face the Nation. That would result certainly in, in police pulling back. Tonight, several Republicans and the White House say they too are working on police reform legislation, though they haven't revealed many specifics yet. Democrats are hoping to push their bill through the House quickly in the next couple of weeks and then pressure the Republican-led Senate to take it up. Nora. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thank you, Nancy.